So thanks for those last races from Oitoi. We're over in Perth now for the Highland National over three miles and seven furlongs. So David Hoody, Sweet Women, David Leds, Dinah Wager, Ironical Harold for Pontypool Racing, Lark River for John Morgan, Vinnie Gerrards, Billy Chatter, Daniel French's Dysonius Babylon, John Morgan's Fighting Words, Matador for Martin Needham, Optimistic Beach and Windmill Rise for Stu Gray, Amanda for Matt Cooper, Cirque for Martin Needham, Alex Cherry's Glen Fry, Fred Lott and the Hollywood Hinton's Beyond Desire, 14 of them to go three miles and seven furlongs here in Perth. Surprisingly enough, this race went to the Stu Gray stables last year. I doubt if I can follow up. So as we wait for them to settle down, 23 fences to take here. And it's just shy of four miles. Three miles and seven furlongs. And there's a couple of John Morgan front runners going to lead this into the first. But take it well. A couple of mistakes there. The ones that hit the ground are sweet women. And I think Alex Cherry's Glen Fry Fredlock could have jumped better. As we can see, these two are starting to string the field out already. Bullish. I can't remember how he says that anyway. Chatter at the back. I still can't say it anyway. It doesn't matter. It's the last week. So at least I haven't had to say 13 weeks of. Uh, maybe you can change that one. I'd really be grateful, Vinny. <laughs> anyway, Lark River and Fighting Words. These two lead us down to the third. Go over it well from in third place Matt oh and we've lost one it's Optimistic Beach for Stu Gray that's gone thanks very much we've already lost sight of Amanda and uh, Billy Stutt Billy Stutt Chatter they've only just gone through the first sort of half mile or so and it's Lark River and Fighting Words and they'll lead them over the next the four length advantage from Matt of Dwarf and then Glen Fry Fred Lot see if they all clear this they do. There's Bilshi, Armour and Amanda. And probably five lengths detached from the, the main group. But it's Fighting Words and Lark River with a six length advantage from Matador and Glen Fry. Fred Lark out wide is Cirque and then towards the rallies beyond desire between horses. I think that's Ironical Harold. Then we've got Dinah Wager as they go over this big ditch. Oh, and we've lost another and it's another Stu Grey horse. Unbelievable. Windmill Rise also goes now. So two out. Both the same trainer. Fortunate for him. Makes you not want to watch. But anyway, it's Lark River and Fighting Words. Lead them over the six. They all clear that, including the two at the rear. Oh no, we've lost one. Ironical Harold went there. I didn't see that. Slipped his jockey. So we're down three. This, these paces being set by these John Morgan front runners are causing carnage. And like you say, we can't even see the whole field. So Lark River and Fighting Words. Seven or eight now to Glenfire, Fredlock, Matador, and Beyond Desire, and Cirque, and then Sweet Woman and Dinah Wager against the Route, Distonia's Babylon, and then Amanda and uh, Billy Chatter getting a little bit closer all the time to that main pack. But there's probably, I don't know, 25 lengths between first and last. So we go on out again here at Perth. There's Lark River. Length advantage from stable mate fighting words. And Glen Fry Fredlock's moved into third as we go over the ninth. They all appear to have cleared it. The Lark River, fighting words. Glen Fry Fredlock, Matador. Maybe one, two, three, four. And Beyond Desire and Sweet Women. Kind of wager. Circle a little wider and Distonius Babylon. Part of the two we can't see. Leads him into the tent. Oh, he's gone. The leader's gone. So the pace will probably slow up a little bit. As you can see, the one that's left is fighting words. Anyway, that Lark River just threw himself into the fence. No effort. And his stable mate manages to get over the 11th. So they all appear to clear that. So fighting words. Although taking a hold and also got his stable mate as a loose horse in front. Grin Fry, Fred Lott in second, then Matadoy's third with Bot Beyond Desire, and then Dinah Wager and Sweet Women, the top weight, and a couple back to Cirque and Distonia's Babylon. Further two back to Amanda, and Vinny's horse we can't see at the moment. As they clear the 12th, big old jump there by Cirque, plenty of air. 
So just over halfway through the fences. Still got well over a mile and a half to travel. And it's still this fighting words. Although the lead's down to four now to Glenfry Fredlock and the Grey Matador between horses of Dinah Wager and Beyond Desire as they get to the 13th. The leader clears it. So does the remainder. So fighting words with a three length advantage gets alongside his loose horse. Get him out of the way. With a couple of lengths advantage from Glenfry Fredlock and Matador. Beyond Desire and Dinah Wager as they go to the 14th. Oh, and he's gone as well. We've lost him. So that's two down. I know how you feel, John. I lost both of mine. But anyway, so reluctant leaders now as they get to the 15th. They all clear that. So Grenfly Fredlock's been left out on his, his own. He's got those these two loose horses in with him, which won't help. And then Dinah Wager, Beyond Desire and Matador. Now length and a half back to the top weight, Sweet Women. Further two back to their bottom weight, Cirque. Along with Amanda of Dredstonia's Babylon as they go over the water. We know nothing will happen there. So with the circuit to go, a mile and a quarter. We've lost five. The pace has obviously dropped off now. And as you can see, Glen Fryford Lot having a little bit of trouble with those loose horses. But still manages to lead. We'll see as we get to the fences. The one that's popped into the picture is Billy Shit Armour. Good lad. So Glen Fry Fredlock from Matador and Dinah Wages. They go over the 17th. Oh, mistake this time by Cirque. Get the ground running. His stable mate is in second, so he won't be too worried. Martin Needham has been hoovering up races the last two, three weeks. I don't know how. He says it's because he didn't win anything at Cheltenham. No, it's just that you just, for some reason, get incredibly easy marks, mate. Anyway, Matador finally heads Glen Fry Fredlock. So it's Matador that takes it up from Glen Fry Fredlock into the 18th. The leaders take it well, as does the rest. There's probably only 12 lengths between first and last now. Although a couple being pushed along at the back, Cirque and Dystonius Babylon. Because you know, Chatter hasn't done anything yet as they get to the 19th. Oh, and the leader went straight through it, as well as Sweet Woman. Allow Grim Fry Fredlock to come back up on terms. We've still got this loose horse here, which was going to cause, I think, Dinah Wager a couple of problems as they come to the 19th. It's going to be Matador that's going to lead them over it. From Glen Fry, Fred Lock, Beyond Desire, and Dinah Wager. Moving well up on the wide outside now is a Cirque and Amanda trying to crash through the pack from his last position. They get to the 20th. They take it well. Also, mistakes at the back by Dystonius Babylon and Cirque. Billy Chatter's trying to run on. But this Mat Matador stolen a bit of a lead here. He's taken a three length advantage out of Amanda in second. Then Glen Fry, Fred Lock, Dinah Wager, Beyond Desire, and Stablemate Cirque out wide. It's probably going to be between these inside the three as they get to it. Big slow jump there, but it's still got a three length advantage from Amanda in second, Dinah Wager is third, Glen Fry Fredlock running on again, Beyond Desire, Cirque and Sweet Woman, Matador's jockey looks round, he's got a quarter of a mile on five lengths advantage, another one with no weight, as he goes over this inside the final quarter mile it's Matador leads by four, but here comes Dinah Wager closing the gap as he starts to tire a little bit, this Matador is going to get to the last, gets over it well a slow jump by Dinah Wager with a furlong left to run, it's another Martin Leadermore, is it, here comes Dinah Wager Half a furlong uphill. They level out here at Perth. Matador, Dinah Wager. Matador slowing up all the time. He needs a line. He's looked round the wrong way. Matador, Dinah Wager. Matador, Dinah Wager. Matador just hangs on from Dinah Wager. Running on well in third was Glen Fry, Fred Lott, and Beyond Desire. Oh, the Leadham Towers win. With another one of these lightweight horses. Takes the Highland National with Matador. From Dinah Wager in second. Glenfry Fredlock was third. Del Hinton's Beyond Desire was fourth. And Amanda for Matt Cooper was fifth.